seemed like a dream, but it, it happened. History books recite names, dates, places, victories, and defeats. But to hear the story of the men and women who lived through this period of history puts a face to their feelings of joy and sorrow. The city of Houston, Texas, for which the gallant vessel was named, recruits a thousand volunteers to replace the men who went down battling an overwhelmingly superior Japanese force. Today, this is the spirit that is typical of all America, a scene that is being reenacted in every town, every city, every hamlet. I mean, everybody was willing to do something. It didn't make no difference what, they just had to do it. Taking the oath of allegiance, their battle cry, remember the Houston, and behind this thousand, another thousand, and thousands more to come, here is America's answer. <laughs> People were willing to sacrifice whatever. I know we talk a lot about the people who, the soldiers and the Marines and the sailors and all of the ones that fought the wars, and that's true, but there were a lot of heroes right here, and they were just the civilians who supported in every way in the world the, the, the effort. And without that support, it would not have happened. But People were willing to do sacrifice, do without, work extra hours, do whatever it took as well to support the war effort. It was an incredible time for the country. Imagine for a moment, here was a young girl who was just becoming aware of our democracy, just beginning to understand the obligations of citizenship, just starting to glimpse the fact that someday she too might play a part in shaping her nation's future. She saw all this through the eyes of a child. We should do everything we can do to make sure this country lives up to our children's expectations. 